off we go we here today at Noihati Stadium for a high octane game between Mohammedan SC and Real Kashmir FC of course this could have been the top of the table clash but of course the 2-1 victory of Srini the Deccan has pushed Mohammedan SC in the same position of course but has pushed Real Kashmir FC a below to one position now Real Kashmir will have to punch above their weight in this game against modern moment and see John John moment as their fans call it will be looking to have a good game it's a home game for them and the crowd will be here in large numbers would be enjoying this game of course the match is supposed to start at 7 p.m roughly about 10 minutes moment presently at the top of the points table in pole position and would be hoping to get that qualification to the top tier league of India, Noihati. It's a very, very beautiful stadium. And there you can see the Mohammedan players are making their way. Remember Mohammedan SC coming on the back of a 2-1 victory against Neroka FC. And they would be hoping to continue are ready with that to same. show good football. They will uh, show good uh, result. They want to win this much uh, so then we are ready for this uh, match today we know and of course as you can see the dugout of uh, real kashmir in the yellow strip real kashmir the first football professional club from kashmir and it's a big moment for football in kashmir it's got a good and a vibrant culture and of course the vision 2047 by AIFF which is of course uh, the apex body of football in India and now as you can see the players of Real Kashmir coming down the team bus with only one thing in mind three points sight on those three points Match, uh, they are a very good side and uh, they are leading the table and uh, it's gonna be. We, we try to put our best foot forward and uh, uh, try to play a good football match. And uh, that's it. That's that's our plan. That, of course, was uh, the head coach of Real Kashmir, Ishfaq Ahmed, has played a good role in marshalling his troops and welcoming my dear friend and my co-commentator. Orijit Paul today. Orijit, how are you doing? Are you excited for this high octane clash between Mohammedan SC and of course Real Kashmir FC? Obviously, after seeing the last match between Churchill Brothers and Srinidhi, I am too much excited for this match. This match is going to be a cracker jacker, as you always say, Shanto. This match is going to be a breathless match. The top two teams of this season. On the Mohammedan sporting lineup, we see Irshad, Zudika, Ajay, and Adinga, the goal, the two, the force backs of the Mohammedan sporting. Samuel Kasimov of Angusana, and then Remsanga David, the most talked about player of Mohammedan sporting. We can see Real Kashmir, the players of Real Kashmir, practicing hard and stretching for the last minute stretches so that they can give all to their match Mohit Khan the Kerala Blasters Academy graduate we can see him on the screen of there Noihati Stadium a beautiful stadium over there we can see a green theater of grass Tifos and banners of Mohammedan Sporting Club is always there and of course shortly we'll take a look at the side of Real Kashmir uh, FC of course there you can see uh, between the sticks will be Mohit and in the back line will be the likes of Haider Muhammad Shaheen Waz and of course we have Krizo in uh, the forward line they're playing with a formation of 4-2-3-1-1 a little unusual but look at the crowd they are here in large numbers they would be expecting an absolute crackerjack of a game. You can, of course, watch the game on TV at the Eurosport TV channel and, of course, on OTT in fan code and, of course, the YouTube channel of Indian football. All the fans of Mohammedan traveling from all the parts of India, from all the parts of Bengal, from Calcutta, all of them have made their way to Noihati. It's a three-hour drive from Calcutta and the Noihati Stadium. 
and is one of the top stadiums in West Bengal, of course. It hosted so many matches in uh, I League 2. It hosted so many matches of Calcutta Football Club, which is the top tier football league of Calcutta. And of course, this promises to be an absolute crackerjack of a game. You can see the match ball focus and the referees and the teams coming out for today's clash between Mohammedan Sporting and Real Kashmir. On the black and white strips of the known black and white strips, we have Mohammedan Sporting and from the yellow strips, we have the Real Kashmir. Mohit Khan, as we can see, instructing his teammates so that we can all see a crackerjack of the match. Krizo back to his side after a many seasons. Krizo was the foreigner striker of Real Kashmir FC when they first played I League in the season. Padam Chetri, the one bright prospect from King Cray FC, another prospect after Gangstar and Kinsai Lang of Shillong Lijong. Van Lal Zidika, the one from Kokulam. And we can see on the squad that is the new Mohammedan sporting foreigner from Russia. It's Kozlov is playing today. Let's see how Kozlov can make an impact in today's match. Absolutely, the referees are on point. Now the team photographs and off we are at the Noihati Stadium in just about a few more minutes. There you can see the banners. Mohammedan SC fans are making their presence felt. I wonder if they come to ISL. There'll be three clubs from Calcutta, which is often known as the Mecca of Indian football. Their defender, of course, today, Hamad, the captain of Real Kashmir. And, of course, the captain of Mohammedan on your left, Adinga. Now, the two teams will be hoping to have a good game here. They'll be hoping to have a good game. Remember, a win for Real Kashmir. They would stand a chance to go to the top tier of Indian football. This is Indian Super League. This is a game of epic proportions. Football is not a game for the faint-hearted. And definitely, this game will be living up to the billing. My name is Shayan Toshen Gupto and of course with me in the com box is Orijit Paul. Off to Orijit. The match. We of course will be maintaining a minute silence. Because that was a minute silence for Sandeep Chattu, who was the owner of Real Kashmir uh, FC. He passed away on uh, 31st December, of course. It's a very saddening moment for Real Kashmir FC. And it's a good sign for Mohamed and SC to uh, make sure that there's a one minute silence for Mr. Sandeep Chattu, who's a prominent businessman and was also the owner of Real Kashmir FC. This is the first game of Real Kashmir. Of course, if you take a look at the points table, a win for them and they would stand a chance to go to the second position, followed by Aizol FC and Mohamedin. Look at the points. They are four points clear of Srinidhi Deccan, having played a game less. And of course, if we glance through the bottom of the table, Neroka and Tidim Road, they are on the brink of relegation to I-League 2. Of course, over there, 
we have real Kashmir in their known yellow and blue strips and we have Mobile and Sporting in their known black and white strips. A lot of expectations will be there from Krizo who is a striker for Real Kashmir and who is back after a long time in his club. Krizo is the one who was brought to India by David Robertson along with his son Mason Robertson who played two seasons for Real Kashmir FC in a great partnership. Of course, we have the walking encyclopedia, Orijit. You ask him anything under the sky, he will be able to answer it. Fantastic work by my co-commentator. And off we go at the Noihati Stadium. This is box office action between Mohammedan and Real Kashmir. Two of the top clubs of the ongoing I-League. And two clubs have the opportunity to rule the roost and to take home three points. Mohammedan. Presently right at the top of the points table. Four points cleared of Sunidi having played a game less. And of course to the ones who are just joining. Who couldn't follow the game which happened in the afternoon. Sunidi Deccan had defeated their opponent of course. Churchill Brothers 2-1. They had won that game. And now Mohammedan in the black strip. They'll be hoping to play a good brand of football. Slaps the ball. Now in the midfield, Real Kashmir. I bet you, Orijit, this is going to be a very, very good game. Their captain right now. Atenga on the yes. ball. And a now Real pass. Kashmir on the move. This is a good pass towards the left. But there's a little bit of a tussle. But a fair and square in the eyes of the referee. Moment and now on the counter attack. There you can see the crowd on their feet. A misdirected pass. And this time, once again, with Real Kashmir, it was Vayne Waz. And now, on the right back, I think it's their uh, captain, is it? Hamad? Hamad. Yes, Hamad it's their the captain. captain. Hamad decides to give it to their goalkeeper, Mohit Shabir. Shahir Shanin now on the ball. Shahir Shanin, the ex modern player. Shahir Shanin introduced to Indian football again by Andrei Chernyshov, who is presently the coach of Mavadin Sporting, is playing against him. His third season in the Indian football circuit, two seasons with Mohammedan and one season, the third season with Real Kashmir now. As we can see that from the first minute, the number 77 of Mohammedan Sporting, Kozlov, into the action. He intercepted a nice fine ball but eventually now of missed course, the ball. There, there is Adnan, there is Inam in the midfield for Real Kashmir. Let's see if they can do something spectacular on this occasion. Now Waz coming from the left to back. Well dispossessed there by Mirial Al Kasimov, the Tajik midfielder from Abin Sporting, who signed this season from Neroka. What a heartwarming moment for Kashmir this is. Their football team playing in the second tier football league of India. Now intercepted by Moment and Moment and from the right. Good passing. This is Tiki Taka passing look at the accuracy of the passing they are doing a fabulous job in their passing here just making sure that uh, they have the momentum right in favor of them now real kashmir once again back with mohammedan gives it to the custodian padam chetri padam chetri pushes the ball away from their defensive third in the midfield now it's their captain of course Gives it behind to the goalkeeper, Mohit. Mohit slaps it towards the left to Wayne Vaz. But Wayne Vaz couldn't really keep control on that one. Once again, the ball goes out of action. Now, Mohammed Irshad. Gentle push by Kasimov, who's from Uzbekistan. Tajik. Now, on the left flank, the action. You'll see number 14, of course. Adinga, the captain. Adinga. Mm, Marvin Sporting. Looking to play within themselves in the defense. Ball sent upwards by Padam Chetri. 
Samuel on the ball. Now on just a right. couple of touches, gives it of course to towards the right back. Zutika. Zutika with that gentle push back to Zutika. Zutika gives it to the backline. Mohamedan playing it within their defensive third. They have to be a tad bit careful as it was. Waz gives that gentle push forward. Ball in possession of Mohamedan. Samuel. Now, Kriso. He's very swift, Kriso. He's a silky skilled forward. He's got the ability to conjure magic. He's the only one in the forward line. Remember the kind of formation they're playing with. 4 2 3 1 1. Four in the back line. And then, of course, only one in the forward line. The forward for Marmarin Sporting, David, who has been a hot topic in the transfer market this season in the winter transfer window. David scoring at least 14 goals in the Durant Cup this season. David, who in report says that, has signed for East Bengal FC a pre-contract. It's going to be a big moment for East Bengal if, uh, if he goes over there, David, of course. But a yellow card has been flashed immediately to Joseph on that occasion. And the first booking of the game goes to Joseph Ajay. They can see that elbow. Oh, that was deliberate. That, that was, that was, was an elbow hit to the neck. That could be fatal. I think he deserved a red card, is it? Referee decides it to be a yellow card. Absolutely. The referee is the ultimate jury. And there you can see a little bit of an altercation between Krizo and, of course, Joseph. Joseph is asking, what is the scene? And now jersey number 22, Carlos, having a quick chat with the referee. He does not like what happened. And Mohammed Ashrar, it's like a phoenix rises from the ashes. He's risen. He's putting in a little bit of uh, just sprinkling water to himself. Just making sure that he can beat the humidity. Now a set piece. And of course the set piece will be taken by Haider Yusuf who came from the back line. Let's see if Haider Yusuf can deliver in a good cross. All eyes on Haider Yusuf now. A little bit of a variation in the way he took that set piece. Now slaps the ball forward near the penalty box. Now straight to the goalkeeper. Oh that's a lovely throw. He's got strong hands. He's got big hands. Now in the midfield of course. Mohamedan. Origi, tell me, why do Mohamedan supporters always come in such large numbers? But, I mean, we've seen matches taking place in so many stadiums, but what is so special about Kolkata and its connection with football? Uh, you know, Shant, Kolkata has been named as the mecca of Indian football. We used to see that in earlier days. It's nine, ten players also from West Bengal. And that was the craze of football in Kolkata. And uh, we you see three historical clubs of India. Might be the three oldest clubs of India from Kolkata? Absolutely. Mohan Bagan is the oldest club. But of course, after the change in their name, it is now East Bengal, which is the oldest club of uh, India. And that speaks volumes about the rich culture and the rich legacy of a football in India and coming back to the action it's the captain Hamad who's going to take a big throw in he's going way beyond the sidelines to take that throw in of course Hamad just having a quick chat with his players takes that throw in turns into a potential corner that one all the action was inside the penalty box now Hamad gives it to the goalkeeper just pushing it out of danger now are they going to press Mohamedan yes they do press but too few times now, inside the defensive third, Mohamedin using the flanks quite often. This time it's jersey number 77, of course. Kozlov, all the way from Russia, is a good ball forward. But uh, Angu couldn't really get enough on it. And immediately it's Mohit Shabir. There you can see, it's a lovely ball in, lovely ball. That is the speciality of Kozlov. The way he delivers those crosses, are simply top-notch. Kozlov is a name to watch out for, I bet you, Orijit. Obviously, Kozlov is the one who has signed for Mohamedan Sporting in the winter transfer window. I told you that he had intercepted a nice ball in the first second of today's match. Meanwhile, Angusana, the one who missed the cross. Angusana 
is the one who played for East Bengal across two seasons in the ISL. The first two seasons, Angusana played a very important role. Once oh. again, Norijit, if you could see, it was Joseph who was involved in that altercation. Boy, you do not want a red card within the first 10 minutes of the game. That's a big blow to your plans. He's already gotten a yellow card. He's already gotten a yellow card. He's to be very, very careful in this entire game. Joseph needs to be very careful in today's game because in the three minutes, in the third minute, Joseph did receive his yellow card. And now from the left, it's Remsanga. Remsanga looking for options on a duel with Ashrar over there. But a good job by Haider over there. Now Krizo missed the ball, but straight into Irshad over there. Irshad clears the ball away. Now, referee says play on. And Kozlov from the right, Kozlov. He's smashing the left foot over there. What can we see from Kozlov over there? But yes, it was the number 30, Wayne Vaz, the former Mohammedan player. Shant, an interesting fact is that many Mohammedan players are now playing for Real Kashmir this season. Wayne Vaz, Shahir Shani. What's your take on that? Absolutely. I mean, whenever you're up against your former club, it means that you have to put all your loyalty towards the previous club aside and you need to showcase your loyalty for the new club and of course this time it is Vaz now Vaz of course looking for a couple of options let's see what he can do Wayne Vaz just looking. No, David. What will David do? Oh, that's Koslov? a lovely ball forward. Look at the amount of open space he has. Now, Koslov gives that grounded shot, but then a misdirected pass. And once again, the possession shifts in favor of a Real Kashmir. Once again, Real Kashmir on the ball. Gives that gentle push behind. Just a couple of touches, of course. This time it was Adnan Ayub. Now it's Wayne Vaz. Oh, boy. It's a little bit of a blunder near the edge of the penalty box. Gives that grounded pass. Needs a little bit of an open space. Went for the left footed shot. But of course, well defended by the men in yellow. It was again David. I told you, Shayanto. David, the player to watch out for. 14 goals in this Durant Cup season. Is it a matter of joke? Absolutely not. Durant Cup is one of the top premier uh, tournaments in India. Of course, the finals was contested between East Bengal FC and Mohan Bagan. What a treat it was for uh, the people of Calcutta. Of course, it was Mohan Bagan who won by a slender margin. But it just showcases that Indian football is in the right direction. Yes, of course, we didn't have a good campaign in the AFC Asian Cup where we were blanked by the three teams. Syria, Australia and of course Uzbekistan but it's in a positive direction. We went till the round of 16 in the Asian Games and I'm sure with the passage of time and with the evolution of leagues such as I-League and ISL we will be seeing a few gems in Indian football. Meanwhile there we have seen a foul by Samuel Alampuy over there. Samuel, another bright prospect of Indian football came up from Sri Lanka Jong, then came to Aizol, then to Orissa FC, to ATK Mohan Bagan, and back to Orissa FC again, and now with Mohammed in Sporting. Mr. Encyclopedia giving us insights about the player, but there was a lovely ball in, and now Mohammed in on the counter attack is in, went for that sliding tackle, loses our possession on that occasion. Now, once again, the men in yellow back with the ball. Now, looking for that quick throw, and of course, Noihati Stadium is a multi purpose stadium. It's got a swimming pool, it's got a gymnasium as well. It's got 25,000 seating capacity. The Noihati Stadium It's roughly a two and a half or a three hour drive, but of course, it seems like the pump in the ball was uh, under fix, and therefore, they are changing the ball. There, you can see. The pump in the ball. This is not a good sign for Mohamed and Essie who are hosting this game. Yes, the ball wasn't at its right position and uh, the ball needs to be changed now. The ball has been changed by Pathardji over there. 
and the game starts with one drop over there. And a throw in in the favor of Marvin and Sporting. Kozlov taking the throw in. Zoetika sends it to the goalkeeper Mohit Shabir Khan. Mohit Shabir Khan is, uh, uh, what to tell you, Mohit Shabir Khan is, has been in the squad of Kerala Blasters for the last four seasons and uh, where Ishfaq Ahmed was the assistant coach of the club, Ishfaq Ahmed did do a nice job with the academy of Kerala Blasters, Mohit Shabir Khan, stars like Mohit Shabir Khan, Mohammed Ayman, Mohammed Azar, Shatin Suresh, these three players are playing regularly for Kerala Blasters in this season's I League. And Mohit Shabir Khan, just see, he's the main goalkeeper for Real Kashmir this season. Ishfaq Ahmed, a man with great, great achievements in Indian football. He was a player, then a coach, an assistant coach after that, and now again a head coach in the Indian football circuit. Meanwhile, a set piece there in the favor of Real Kashmir FC, Carlos Lomba. The cross came in and collected well by Padam Chetri, the man from King Cray FC, this season to Mobile and Sporting. Another nice lofted ball for Kasimov. So Kozlov, my bigger pardon. Kozlov, what will he do now? Kozlov sends the ball in. A shot from David. Very, very close, but just way above the crossbar. But look at the crowd swinging into action. Once again, if we see the replay, it was a good delivery from the right flank. Caught a little bit of an open space and then a grounded cross. And then he was on the move, of course. But like you were mentioning, Koslov has been a great player. And then, of course, Samuel on the move. Just not getting enough purchase from that cross, Samuel. Nevertheless, it was a good move, a good passage of play on this occasion, Mohammedan Sporting Club. Orijit, tell me, tell me a few words about Mohammedan's uh, fan base. Seems like uh, a lot of people think you are an East Bengal fan, but tell me a little bit about uh, Mohammedan's fan base. Mohammedan's fan base is also as like as the Mohan Bagan and East Bengal fan base. They have a separate fan base, which is more of uh, the black and white, and they call themselves as Black Panthers, and. Uh, they are to every game of Mohammedan Sporting. When Mohammedan Sporting was not at this position, they weren't playing the I League. They were playing the I League too. They were at the back of the team. Now also they are at the back of the team. Mohammedan Sporting fans are just fabulous and is Absolutely. as like as the Mohan Bagan and East Bengal fans. Absolutely. You talk about fans and therefore they are the building blocks of any team. They are the 12th men of any team. If the fans are behind, then I'm sure that that acts as an additional force, of course. What an atmosphere, what an electrifying atmosphere we are witnessing in Noihati. That, that's essentially why I love watching Mohammedan SC play. Just imagine a Mohammedan come into the ISL and then East Bengal and Mohammedan play or Mohan Bagan and Mohammedan play. I think it's going to be another Kolkata Derby. And that Kolkata Derby will be watched by thousands and lakhs of people inside the stadium and millions across the globe. I think we need Mohammedan SC into ISL for the growth of Indian football. It would be a proud moment for the say, people of Bengal that all three big clubs of this state is playing in the top tier league of India. Meanwhile, a nice ball for Kozlov. Kozlov looking to dance with the ball. But meanwhile, in the process, falls down and throw in the favor of Real Kashmir FC. If we sharp praise, now Real Kashmir looking for possession, of course. Now, the moment a decision goes against Mohammed in the crowd, simply shouts and simply puts on a lot of energy levels on that occasion. But, Urijit, tell me the way Kozlov has been playing, has been utilizing the right flank, has been delivering in those crosses. 
how big of a factor Koslov is for Mohammedan? Koslov is a big factor. The one who left Mohammedan because of his injury concern, Alexis Nangul Gomez, was this kind of a player. He and a shot comes in, but wayward off the goalpost. Took his time for that shot, of course. Inam took his time. There you can see. There's that gentle push from jersey number 20, of course. Kamal gave that ball. First touch was a little bit rough, but then on the left foot, trying taking that shot. Inam, but eventually couldn't really keep it on target. Oh boy, oh boy, what a game we are witnessing over here. Mohamedan mostly dominating the entire passage of play, but so has been Real Kashmir. Not balking down, not going without a fight. Remember, Mohamedan. Are coming on the back of a 2-1 victory against Neroka, presently in the first position and pole position in the points table of uh, I-League. And if they continue in this way, they will be qualifying to the top tier football league of India, which is Indian Super League. Now, from the right, they are once again trying to do something special. Accurate passing, some slick passing between each other. Takes that aerial ball once again with Real Kashmir now. Gentle ball forward. Now that's a good interception in the midfield. Ball goes outside the sideline. And once again, I wonder whose fan base is more, Uriji. Do you think Real Kashmir has more fans? Or do you think Mohammedan has more fans? I have a feeling it's Mohammedan. It is Mohammedan. Just check the population of Kashmir and population of Bengal. Throw in, of course, from uh, the captain, Adinga. Adinga, he has to marshal his troops extremely well. Of course, in the midfield. Samuel on the ball now, but well defended by the number seven of Real Kashmir, Inam, the defensive midfielder for Real Kashmir. This Real Kashmir team. Now a chance, creating a little bit of a space, Real Kashmir, but a good deflection on that occasion, Joseph. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant defending on that occasion by Joseph Real Kashmir trying their level best and of course Orijit if I tell you about Real Kashmir I think they are a side that deserves a lot of praise they were incorporated in 2016 and they have slowly risen through the ranks they play at the proposed Bakshi Stadium of course and the head coach Ishfa Kamen has been a big and a vital cog in the Real Kashmir side Right, he was a central midfielder. He's played for India as well, India under 23. He's been the assistant manager of Kerala Blasters of Jamshedpur and has also been the interim manager of uh, Kerala Blasters. So, of course, Ishfa Ahmed is someone we can expect. He'll get all the ISL experience to Real Kashmir and guide them to a positive approach. Ishfa Ahmed has also been the head coach of under 16 squad of Indian football. Ishfaq Ahmed, the man with a bag of experience behind all the players of Real Kashmir over there. Don't you think that the number 10, Mohammed Ashrar of Real Kashmir, gives you a wife of Danish Farooq? 100%. The quick throw in, a couple of passes. There you can see the aerial route. And they've got a rivalry with uh, Lone Star Kashmir FC, participates in the I League Second Division. Remember? Hey, hey, hey. 
now. Takes that shot from the distance. What a flicked wide, of course. But look at the crowd getting behind them. A couple of chances over here. This time it's David. Someone who can sing a song of redemption. They can see two shots from uh, both the teams. 25 minutes have passed. I think Mohammedan fans are in large numbers. Basimov on the ball now. Looking to initiate another attack from the left. Crosses the ball inside, but headed away by Wayne Vaz over there, who is continuously covering Kozlov over there. Trizo now dodging two defenders, Trizo, but eventually fouled in the process by Zutika. Kamal Issa to take the set piece, the Ghanaian midfielder for Real Kashmir. The set piece taken long but defended well by the Mohammedan sporting players. Cause love there, heading it away. David on the ball now. David plays it away. But free kick awarded in the favor of Mohammedan Sporting. Now from the left, huge uproar. And a yellow card has been flashed to Muhammad Hamad, the captain. Instantly apologizes, of course. Hamad, yellow card for a jersey pull over there. Now, from that set piece, flashes the ball in. This time, straight to the goalkeeper. Out of the danger zone. There you can see. It was a good set piece. But this time, straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. Shanta, just look at the height of Mohit Khan there. Goalkeeper of this height are just having an extra advantage absolutely i mean they they look menacing they look intimidating in front of the goal if there is a goalkeeper of that height but this time in the defensive third a mohammedan they have to clear it out their defensive third is under siege now the men Come. in yellow trying to do something spectacular now that's a misdirected pass possession shifts in favor of mohammedan We're almost reaching the half hour mark now that's a good ball forward, but eventually couldn't really materialize into something. Now it seems like there is some kind of a commotion. No, we don't want that. No, we don't want that in that game. No, we want a fair and square game. We definitely don't want to fight here. Oh boy, this is going really down to the wire. Boy, whenever real Kashmir and Mohammedan are involved, 
There is always a lot of drama. Correct me if I'm wrong, Arijit. Obviously not. Shriyal Kashmir and Mohammedan. This thing, just a fight of neck to neck. Also, this Pure is... Pure drama. This is not short of a Bollywood movie. I think a Bollywood movie would have less twists and turns and drama in this game. The referee just uh, having a quick chat. Orijit, what do you have to say about this exciting game? Look at the ball possession. This is neck to neck. The game is equally distributed between the two teams. The two teams pressing high, pressing each other. And the referee shows a yellow card to David for the unnecessary hassle that he has created there on the field. David trying to say something to the referee. But again, a yellow card to Isaac Kamal, the Ghanayan midfielder for Real Kashmir FC. David, the star boy from Mizoram, played for Aizol FC last season. Now, pushes the ball into the aggressive third. Now a chance, but good clearance on that occasion. Brilliant clearance. Now, from the left, battling down the wing, looking for a few options. Remsanga there, looking now, to that's cut a inside. Good interception. But a good Gets interception it. by Inam over there. Mohamed Inam playing exceptionally well for Real Kashmir this season. The quality product from Real Kashmir this season. And uh, Real Kashmir FC is just producing more and more talents. Hugh C. Shanto, Danish Farooq, the one playing for India, is a product of Real Kashmir FC, who has been with Real Kashmir from the first season of Real Kashmir. Again, players like this are always welcome in Indian football. Meharaj Uddin Wadu, the previous coach of Real Kashmir FC, did a very good job in promoting football in the Kashmiri lads. Madam Chetri on the ball now, and the Mohammedan FC half. Joseph, Irshad, to Zudika. Zudika plays the ball for Angu over there, Angu Sana. Angusana Luang, this player is from Manipur and this player has come up from Trao FC. Referee stops the whistle and a free kick is awarded in the favour of Mohamedan Sporting. David, the target man and every time David gets the ball, it's minimum two who is marking David. This important David is to the Mohammedan sporting squad. David has done exceptionally well in this season's tournament. Just about 10 minutes left on the clock. We might see something spectacular. Now Mohammedan from the back line trying to do something, trying to weave magic. From the left. Missed the ball. Pass. Over there from Miss Jalal Kasimov, ball was def reflected to Kozlov, the Russian. Muhit Khan sends the ball upwards. Another nice little interception from Kozlov there, but eventually Angu loses the ball. Now, Wayne Vaz intercepts the ball. Shahir Shani, the rock solid at the back. Shahir Shani just oozing it out against his former club. 
Now nice that's a good ball there forward. on the left, but no one onto the end of it. Irshad eventually taking the ball. Adinga, the captain of Marvin and Sporting this season. Moment in Sporting did choose Adinga and Samad Ali Malik, the two captains for the season. Now on the break, it's Rem Sangha from the left. Rem Sangha looking for options in the center. Rem Sangha cuts it on. Will he take a shot in? Rem Sangha finding options. On the right is Zudika. What will Zudika do? Crosses the ball in. Will anyone get into it? Rem Sangha takes the shot. But well deflected by the right back of Real Kashmir over there. Haider Yusuf. David taking two shots for Modern Sporting within this span of time. Onto every ball, you see it's David who gets onto it. Kozlov there, a nice little through ball for David, but well defended by Shahin there. This is really good combination play which is being played by Mohamedin. This has been one of their strengths, the combination play. That is essentially how things have been panning out for uh, Mohamedin SC, of course. David now, who had a chance just a while back to score that goal, couldn't really get it. Now Mohamedin slaps the ball forward from the right. This time it is Kozlov. It's a tough angle, but he has to deliver the cross. Delivers the cross, but eventually couldn't really get enough purchase on that cross, and he's injured himself. He's in a lot of pain. There you can see. First Kozlov was pushed. And then Mohamedin's forward line pushed him real hard and that seemed like a deliberate foul. Rem Sangha there. That really was a foul. Seems to be in a lot of pain here. Haider Yusuf, who looked to be in a lot of pain, is now back on his legs and is there to give everything for his team, Real Kashmir FC. Mohit Khan to take the free kick. Ishwa Ahmed giving a little backing to his squad. Mohit Khan takes a free kick long. Target man was Chris over there, but eventually cleared by Joseph Ajay. Hamad. Kozlov. Looking for options. Rem Sangha, he finds on the right, but eventually it was Haider Yusuf who gets the ball. But again, it's Rem Sangha. Rem Sangha, been covered by two of the Yal Kashmir players, eventually cleared away by the number 10, Ashrar. Just about five minutes left on the clock, and this is end to end battle that is happening. Now, Mohamedan from the left. Gentle push, now slaps the ball forward. The goalkeeper not in position, but so. Was Kozlov not in position to take that shot? There's that little shot, but of course, wide off the goal. Crowd nice. On their feet at the moment. They are enjoying this game. There you can see the goalkeeper came out of his position. Kozlov wasn't in the right position for that shot. What a game we're witnessing here. 
You're witnessing a game for the ages. Real Kashmir just nailing their defense. There's a body push and now on the move here. On the counter attack here, Real Kashmir trying to do something special. He's got a couple of options, but he's been brought down by Luwang. Good work by Luwang on that occasion. Now it's Adinga. Remsanga there on the left. Joseph now. Let's see what Joseph can do. Joseph gives it, of course, towards the right. Gives that gentle push forward here. And Kozlov has been brought down by Vaz. Now, there's this interesting battle between Vaz and Kozlov in the right flank, if you can see, Orijit. There's always this constant tussle for possession and the tussle for uh, supremacy between Kozlov of uh, Mohammedan and, of course, Vaz of Real Kashmir. Tell us a little bit about this battle. Uh, I think uh, the coach of Real Kashmir, that is Ishfa Ahmed, has given a proper instruction to Wayne Vaz, that is, don't give a small amount of space to Kozlov, because if you give him a small amount of space, Kozlov can create a havoc Absolutely in the defense. the kind of crosses that he's giving Kozlov, the kind of incoming crosses that comes from his boots, are simply amazing. Kozlov with those mazy runs down the wings, He's simply amazing and that is why he's been signed by Mohamedin. Mohamedin showing faith in Kozlov from Russia and he is simply doing well. And so has been Samuel and David. Samuel and David have been doing really well in the midfield as well. The crosses which are coming, they are making sure that they have a good chance to put them to the goal. Now the men in yellow slaps the ball towards the right. There's a lot of open space but eventually couldn't really keep it in control. Haider Yusuf has just jumped from the back line. Now Vaz marching forward here, but then again there was a little bit too much pressure on that occasion. Adnan Ayub it was. And now on the left it is Krizo. Krizo the only forward who's playing for Real Kashmir. But eventually a free kick has been awarded in the favor of Mohammedan Sporting there. You can see Kozlov has a very good market value. He's been a former international, of course, of Russia. He's 29 years age. Samuel Devers down with a bit of injury and a push from Krizo. Eight fouls committed by the teams each. And it's just 42 minutes and 22 seconds of this match. As we all guessed, this is going to be a tight and intensifying match. And it is being the tight and intensifying match between West Bengal's Mohammedan Sporting and Real Kashmir FC. Real Kashmir FC is not the one to give you acres of spaces. Mohammedan Sporting, you have to fight it for it. And same way, Mohammedan Sporting will not give you enough spaces. Real Kashmir, you have to fight for it. Padam Chetri on the ball now. Irshad. Padam Chetri again. Looking to clear the ball. The ball possession. Mohamedan Sporting has 57%. Meanwhile, a counter attack there from Remsanga. From the left, Haider Yusuf on his front. Remsanga looking. Takes a shot. But which is well upward and well wide of the goal post. I mean, that was a good maze he ran. And from the edge of the box, he took that shot, but uh, couldn't really control the elevation on uh, that occasion. Rem Sangha of Mohammedan. And now the goalkeeper of Real Kashmir, Muhit Shabir, getting into position. We're inching towards the first half. Stroke of first half, of course. Goal kick, taken long, but Kozlov onto the end of it and earns a throw in Israel Kashmir for themselves. Krizo puts it up for Ashrar, but Joseph onto the end of it. Joseph 
doing very well to keep Ashrar off the ball. Kasimov now. Kasimov signed for Neroka in the last season and now this season he has signed for Mohamedan Sporting. Now, marching forward here Mohamedan. The men in black intercepted really well by Real Kashmir. The interceptions have been good from their defenders. Gives that gentle push behind. Slaps the ball forward. Three minutes of added time. Three minutes of added drama. Limitless action at the Noihati Stadium. The crowd is happy to get the ball. The constantly on the prowl here, Mohamedan. Constantly on the attack. Led by Kozlov, led by Samuel, led by David, all of them they have been doing exceptionally well. They are making sure that they have a good day. Now, intercepted there by Isaac, but again back intercepted by the left back Adinga there. Now, Carlos on the ball. Carlos. Looking to create some magic in the, from the midfield. It's Mohamed Inam from the right. Kasimov just pouncing on Mohamed Inam now. Inam. Cross comes in for Chris O. But. Headed wide. Conic okay, Mr. Encyclopedia, can you tell me a little bit about the history? <laughs> a meanwhile, a corner there in the favor of Real Kashmir FC. Now, this is a set piece and this is a good chance. So, definitely Aditya Pura Gaista. And all command for this game. Now, the corner kick. A little bit of a variation in the corner with that grounded pass. The man in yellow gives that gentle push towards jersey number 10. Real Kashmir trying for space. Takes that shot from a distance. Needs that depth header. And the referee blows the whistle immediately. Referee. Swinging into action. Now the goalkeeper, roughly about fifteen seconds. Remaining on the clock. This was proper drama. This was proper high voltage action. Gives that forward push towards the right. There you can see marching forward. All he needs is that incoming cross. Needs that cross right now. Was a tough angle, of course, from Muhammad Asrar. Now a set piece, now a chance for them to break the deadlock and score the first goal. Now all eyes on Real Kashmir and their coach, of course. And with that we come to an end to the first half. It was top-notch action, but nothing could separate the two sides. It's Mohammedan SC 0, Real Kashmir 0. Stay tuned as we will be giving you the highlights and of course the statistics. There you can see the captain, Muhammad Hamad, just having a word with the referee. Not quite happy with a few decisions.
Coming to the statistics of the first half, the ball position has been quite evenly distributed. It's 56 and 44 for Mohammed Sporting and Real Kashmir each. Seven shots for Mohammed Sporting, in which one on target and three shots nil on target for the Kashmiri lads. Eight fouls for Mohammed Sporting, nine for Real Kashmir, two yellow cards for each. Shot seven, David taking three shots. Kozlov taking two, Remsanga and Samuel taking one each. Will be with the shots for Real Kashmir FC. Three shots for Real Kashmir, Krizo, Asharar and Inam one each. And all the shots were quite dangerous. Of course, if you take a look at the fouls, a Mohammedan Ramsanga has had uh, three fouls, and of course, Angu too. This has been the foul list of, of course. Mohamed Anessi, if you take a look at the how fouls in just about a few more minutes. Fouls of Real Kashmir of course being dominated by Krizo who is in the forward line of course. Ayub 2, Isa 2 and of course Asrar and the captain Hamad has had one foul each. Back with the highlights of the first half. Plenty of highlighting moments in the first half. The customary handshakes over there. The toss between the two captains, Hamad and Adenga. One minute of silence for Sandeep Chattu, the owner of Real Kashmir. The first shot, the cross from Carlos. A dangerous cross in from Carlos and Padam Shetri onto the end of it. The shot from Samuel, which has given the sky. The shot from Asharar deflected by Joseph over there. The boomer from Remsanga there. This is a foul from a Judika there. The jersey pull from Hamad over there on David. This was a foul from Remsanga on Haider over there. This was one of the most quick chances created by Marvin and Sporting there. The chance for more real Kashmir over there and the first half whistle goes off. Half time, it's nil nil for Mohammed in Sporting and Real Kashmir. We'll be back with you guys with the second half.
at Noihati Stadium. This is, of course, the I League going on between Mohammed and SC and Real Kashmir. We witnessed some heart throbbing action in the first half where it was 0 0. And now it's a solid chance for both the teams to shrug off their cloak of mediocrity and then stage a comeback in this game. This is, of course, your commentator, Shayanto Shangupto. And joining alongside me is Orijit Pal. Orijit, what are you expecting in this half? Obviously, last half, it was just a fine and fabulous football by both of the teams. I would expect more from all, both the teams over here. Every player of each team is fighting to its max. And we can't expect anything greater than this from a football match like this. Yeah, the clash between the top two sides not present, but before last match, they were the top two sides of the I League. And of this is a what is expected. bit of a context uh, to what Origit just said. Srinidhi Dekin are coming on the back of a 2 1 victory against uh, Churchill Brothers. And that is essentially why they are in the third position. And of course, Real Kashmir are in the third. And we have Srinidhi Dekin in the second position. But Mohammedan are right at the top. And it's going to be David who will be starting jersey number 19. We've seen. His silky silked forward prowess, and of course, the likes of Kozlov and Samuel doing well. Referee taking a final look at his clock, and off we go once again at the Noihati Stadium for the second half in what promises to be an absolute crackerjack of a contest. The sides have changed. And now will that do something special? Oh boy, there was a good ball forward, a teasing ball forward. And it was David who was galloping forward to the penalty box. Once again, if we see, that was a brilliant ball that was given by Samuel, a teasing ball. And David galloped forward into the penalty box. And it was good work from Shahir Sahin on that occasion. Also, Muhit Khan, who came out of his line to collect the ball, a nice show of goalkeeping from Mohit Khan. As we can see here, he's receiving treatment as I think the ball has been pumped into his stomach and which is a little dangerous. But Absolutely. Once again, physio, if we see the replay, Samuel gave a teasing ball forward and he was galloping forward. But uh, the goalkeeper and the defender rising up to the occasion Oh boy, do you do not want to see this Krizo and their captain Hamad are just having a little bit of an altercation. You don't expect that from Real Kashmir. You're playing an away game in front of literally thousands of Mohammedan SC uh, fans and you cannot afford to have a little fight. And of course, you can see the playing lineup of Real Kashmir playing with the formation of 4-2-3-1 and that is essentially helping them to have a good spread on the field not a good sign this is really not a good sign Muhit Shabir is being treated now will he be replaced will Shivam Kiran come back Shivam Kiran Pednekar but that you can see it's a great ball forward and then oh boy it was that little tussle between Shaheen and the goalkeeper that things eventually happened in that occasion. And the real Kashmir coach and the manager, Ishfaq Ahmed and Yasir Ahmed, just having a quick chat, discussing their strategies, revitalizing the strategies. Of course, the halftime was present for them to revitalize their strategy, to go through their tactics and their strategy. Now let's see how things pan out. Mohit Shabir looking to be in a slight discomfort on the field and is down with a bit of discomfortness. We hope that everything is fine for Mohit Shabir and he is back on his feet. Mohit Shabir Khan, a very important player in this Real Kashmir squad. We can see the modern spectators there and the spectators of today's match sitting tensed 
on the fields over there. Thousands of spectators have reached there to watch today's match in numbers. It was the clash between Shahir Shanin and goalkeeper Mohit Shabbir, which resulted in a discomfort for Mohit Shabbir. On the slide lines, we could see Shibham Shubham Kiran Pednekar, the reserve goalkeeper for Real Kashmir, warming up and stretching. Mohit Shabbir looks to be in proper comfort. Oh boy, Mohit has been in good form. Mohit has been in good form for Real Kashmir. And oh boy, his chest is hurting a lot. He's just holding his chest. And that is definitely not a good sign for Real Kashmir. Remember, Mohit has been playing well, has good, a good market value, of course. 22 year old. Mohit started He's his had career. Seven clean sheets in uh, I League so far. So that's the amount of uh, quality he gets in Orijit. Mohit, Mohit, I beg your pardon, has seven clean sheets. He's got one yellow card and he's conceded only six goals. He's played in every game of I League so far. Seven clean sheets isn't a matter of joke. It's a very good record in the league. Mohit Shabir looking to be in a bit discomfort, which is a very bad news for the Real Kashmir FC. Mohit Shabbi started his career from the Kerala Blasters reserve squad along with Sachin Shuresh. Now, released by Kerala Blasters this season, has signed for Real Kashmir FC. And just like a phoenix rising from the ashes, it seems like Mohit will be playing in this match again. That's a good sign for the Real Kashmir fans. That he's back in action and he is going to play. Massive credit, massive kudos to Muhit. He's shown that he's a true warrior. He's shown that his indomitable grit and his unwavering determination is making him stand out. And that's a good sign, but we've lost a little bit of time. So we're going to have uh, a lot of added time. We're going to have a lot of injury time as well. The game to be restarted by a one drop. Of course, he's just uh, touching his chest, just making sure he's fine. Mohit is an integral part. He's guarding the walls of uh, a real Kashmir. Mohit has been exceptionally well this season. His first full time season in his career. Before that, he was with Kerala Blasters as a reserve goalkeeper for them and the game restarts Shahir Shanin coming in from the left to the number 29 Adnan Ayub Adnan Ayub but well cut out by the defense of Robert Sporting Miriam Lal Kasimov it was and Kasimov Getting fouled by Crizo in the process. Crizo, the striker with great height and great physique. The bald Crizo, the bald striker, and the hairstyle of the striker marks him a different one. And a quick throw in from Mohammedin. Mohamedin Sporting from the right. Zurika it was. But the referee had stopped the game. Foul in the favor of Real Kashmir. And of course, Real Kashmir is just number nine. Krizo has received a yellow card. Similar to the color of his jersey. That's a good ball forward. But uh, once again, Krizo. But Joseph, Joseph is like a tower. He's like South City of Calcutta. He is an absolute tower.
बॉल विथ मोहित शब्बीर अंगू देर फिटिंग प्रेशर ऑन मोहित मोहित टू विज डाउन विद एन इंजरी अ फ्यू मिनट्स बैक इज फुल फिट एंड फाइन एंड इज लुकिंग इन गुड टच नाउ नाउ ऑन द राइट इट्स हाइदर हाइदर बट मिर जलाल का सीमा ऑफ वेर एवर देर इज अ बॉल इन द मॉमेंट एंड हाफ इट्स का सीमा ऑफ टू द रेस्क्यू यू कान डिनाई This this player is taking a much longer. Meanwhile, an attack from by the Real Kashmir FC 20 and Adnan Ayub. Again, but a foul in the process by Wayne Vaz. Absolutely good. Uh, there you can see the possession being lost by Mohammedan on that occasion. Mohammedan right now, once again, this time with the men in yellow, takes that shot, but just a little bit over. the crossbar and like you mentioned yesterday also in the game between uh, Intakashi and Shilong Lijong if it hits the crossbar it's not your day and it almost hit the crossbar just over the crossbar just went into the back net of course it was a pretty good learn from Crizo once again if we see the replay that's the beauty of technology because of technology we can see the replays also and this time of course Carlos Silva from Portugal is getting ready. I think it's going to be a little bit of a variation. Is he going to give it to Asrar? Asrar right very there. near to Carlos. <coughs> Now Carlos, what does he do? Whips in the ball. That's not a good delivery at all. Oh, oh boy! Oh it wasn't a good delivery, but it was an inch perfect header. That made them get that goal. It's none other than Shahir Shaheen. What a goal! This guy, Shahir Shaheen, scoring against his former club, is making just anything out of it. The opportunity that he got to play against his former club, an inch-perfect header, and it was a deflection by one of the Mohammedan sporting players over there. Just see the header from Shahir Shaheen. Shot touching the head of the captain Adinga. It was an awkward-looking ball that came in. It wasn't an easy goal, but Shahir Shaheen made sure he makes things look so easy. Shahir Shaheen scores against his former club Mohammedan, like uh, Oriji just said. And here we have the first goal of this match. Fitting for Real Kashmir. They travelled all the way from the north western part okay, of okay. India. And now they're marching forward here from the left flank. This time it's Ramsanga. One versus two, and Asrar does well. There you can see a little bit of a tussle, and Haider Yusuf is down. The captain, Adinga, coming into the rescue. Haider just falling down. Now it's going to be Adinga. There you can see. Ransanga was one versus two, and then that gentle push. Now a quick throw in from Matinga, the captain, near the penalty box. Ramsanga. Watch out for that shot. Home side is trailing. What can they do here? Wriggling for space on that occasion, of course. Zudika. Now gives it behind to Muhammad Irshad. Now the goalkeeper. Once again, he seems to be in a little bit of a pain. Then we're going to have a lot of extra time today. There've been a lot of injuries that's happening, but Real Kashmir physio has to be on the run. It's been a busy day for him, of course. The physio of Real Kashmir, Amir Shafi Sheikh, has been in action. Quite some time there. You can see Samuel took that shot. They were asking for a hand, was it? But they realized that it was not exactly the hand. But he's going to be stretched off here. Oh boy, this is a harrowing sight for the football field. You definitely do not want to see this. And I think he's going to be stretched off on this occasion. Players like Isak Kamal are very important for the sides, and the defensive midfield department has been lead. by him and if you lose a player of this stature your defensive midfield is at risk i must absolutely i completely second with what mr paul just said i mean losing this uh, player from ghana means that you are on the back foot 
you might as well can see the goal right now so they have to be on their toes here real kashmir they have to be on their toes they cannot let the opposition defenders breathe on the ball he's saying he's okay he's telling the physiotherapist amir shafi that he's okay but amir shafi doesn't want to take a risk and amir shafi signals of a change to the coach yeah there are two options according to me henrik seka and stephen kamobai both of them are experienced in the indian football circuit stephen kamobai experienced with aizol fc and henrik seka with aizol gokul mohan bagan mohammedan also an interesting fact henrik seka was a former mohammedan player oh boy seems like uh, mohammedan versus former mohammedan Uh, as i expected it is stephen kamobai who comes in place of isa kamal now throws the ball in good back heel now oh boy ram sanga is down and ram sanga seems to be in a little bit of a pain This has been a very very aggressive game. I told you Origi at the start that this could be an aggressive one and we are seeing a lot of aggression in this match. Obviously Shayan though this game is reaching heights of everything. This game is reaching heights of aggression, reaching heights of entertainment, excitement. and now a ball from rem sanga but intercepted well because Bye. this is unprecedented drama that is happening now once again mohit like i mentioned he's had seven clean sheets he's well on course to have another one it's just the half i beg your pardon the hour mark we touching the hour mark now takes that goal kick now how can momentum stage a comeback they have to use the wings they have to make sure koslov whips in those balls there is samuel there is david who can take in those shots of course ram sanga is looking good on the left wing as well this time now It's the captain gives the ball forward but rem sanga couldn't really reach to it once again the ball goes outside is looking at the referee as to whose decision it is adinga the captain now of course it's going to be either yusuf takes a long throw in momentum what a rich history momentum have momentum are one of the top clubs of Bengal and not just Bengal of India they've been playing in the I league for a very very long time we know that they've got a rich history they've got a very very passionate fan base and of course if we talk about their honors they've been the I league runners up in 2021 and 2022 they haven't been able to win the I league in 2021 of course it was Gokulam Kerala who had won It was because of Vincenzo Alberto that Gokulam Kerala won twice uh, I League uh, in a row. Then, of course, he went to North East United FC, the struggling North East United FC last season, the Highlanders, and then eventually he went to Nepal, was the head coach of Nepal as well. Talk about talk about CFL. Momentum have won the CFL on fourteen occasions, with the most recent one being this year. when uh, they had pipped past the likes of east bengal and mount bagan to win it so momentum have a lot of prowess now joseph who is an absolute beast look at the kind of skill set he possesses but lastly he couldn't really execute that pass well now with that gentle push behind once again now good turn give that forward push but eventually real kashmir's jersey number 22 i beg your pardon it is 25 Kamo, who couldn't really get it in him. Kamo again, the man to watch out for, who came in place of Isa Kamal. Kamo, a kind of player Isa used to be. He used to be everywhere on the field. Maybe you call it a defense, you call it attack, you call it midfield. Yes, Kamo 
the perfect replacement for Issa. Meanwhile, a long ball in the favor of Ashrar. Ashrar plays the ball to Inam. Inam looking for the insurance goal. Pulls the cross in, but well defended by the captain Adinka. Talking about Kamo's career in India, he started playing in CFL for George Telegraph in 2016. Signed for Salgaukar the same year. In 2017, he won the I-League with Aizol FC. Mohan Bagan again he signed for in the same season, then winning, then signing for Gokulam Kerala, back to Mohammedan. As I told you, he has played for Mohammedan in the past. Toligan Chakrogami. Now, Carlos with that set piece. Let's see if he can deliver an inch perfect cross here. Carlos, all the way from Portugal. He's got Portuguese jeans, slaps in that ball and almost a similar one and it is a similar goal. It is exactly a repeat of what had happened and this time it's Crizo. Both the times the assists coming in from Carlos who's delivered, this time has delivered a good ball in. The last time it was an awkward ball but this time it is Crizo. Just gets past his marker. Who was Joseph? Imagine Crizo getting past Joseph, the tall, the burly guy. I mean, just using the lower part of his body and then kisses all the away fans who have come all the way to Calcutta to watch this game. First header coming in from Shaheen and then, of course, coming in from Crizo. We are witnessing an absolute stupendous game. And you can see that David is not happy, but they have to pull things back. They have to do something. They have to do it now. Kasimov now. Kasimov placing it to the right. Zudika giving it back to Irshad. Joseph switching flanks to the left. Adinga, the captain for today. Kasimov plays it long for Kozlov there. The Russian. Pardon me. It's Rem Sanga cross comes in, but straight into the hands of Muhit Khan over there. You know, football is such an unpredictable sport. You could never expect Mohamedan to drop their guards like this. Yes, they had a few good opportunities, but I'm sure Srinidhi Dekin and Real Kashmir would be very happy with this result. Srinidhi Dekin would be watching this game. Now, Adinga, what does Adinga do here? Gives it to Samuel, of course. Now, Samuel now intercepts it extremely well on that of occasion. Asrar, and now, of course, it is Kasimov gives the ball behind to Irshad. Irshad towards the right flank now, looking for a few options back to Irshad. Irshad gives it to Samuel. Samuel gives it to Adinga. Adinga to Samuel back again and they win back the possession. Inam it is who gave that forward pass to Crizo, but back again with Joseph, the player of Mohamedan. And now of course, they're trying to do something spectacular here, Mohamedan. Ball moved forward for Remsanga there, but Remsanga couldn't get onto the end of it. It's Shahir Shanin clearing the ball. It's Kamo chasing the ball, but Irshad. Irshad also has a rich history in the Indian football circuit. He came to be playing for Gokulam Kerala FC in the initial season. The first card has been played by Andre Chernyshov. It's number 20, Eddie Hernandez, who is going to take the field. It's Samuel Lalempoya, the creative one to come out and Let's see if Eddie Hernandez, the one from Honduras, could do something or not. Now, Real Kashmir, slick passing, gives that behind. Gentle passes. Looking for a few options now. That could have been a misdirected pass, but somehow Hamad comes into the rescue. 
Slams that ball forward towards the right flank. This is a good back heel. Now, marching forward here. Just a couple of touches there. You can see that forward push. Now, all the action happening in the defensive third of Mohamedin. Mohamedin have been pushed against the wall. Their backs are against the wall. They're under the pump. How did they stage a comeback? With roughly about 20 minutes left on the clock. And remember, we're going to have a lot of injury time as well because of the spate of injuries that we witnessed in the second half, in the starting of the second half. Samuel on your screen. Haider, with that quick throw in, gives Inam. Lamps the ball forward. Gentle passes, gentle passes. Now, Adinga gives that gentle push behind to Joseph. Joseph gives it towards the other flank, of course, to Irshad. Irshad once again. That forward push in the midfield now. They've intercepted. They're on the move here. Counter attack. Where are your options? Gives that gentle push behind. Now Come look now. at the combination play. Look at that passing. But eventually being intercepted. All fair and square in the eyes of the referee. But Mohamedin have once again won back the possession. They get a little bit of an open space. Now they cannot afford to lose out on possession on this occasion. David now. Now with that forward push, that's a good ball forward. And the first touch, the first touch wasn't that smooth from Remsanga. And eventually another chance goes begging. Remsanga there, couldn't do well with the first touch, eventually losing a nice chance to equalize or to give or get a con concession goal over there. Yes, they do need to goal over here. Roughly about 20 minutes remaining. Now Kozlov, who's been so good down the wings. Now he's got a chance through that set piece. Now let's see if he can deliver the ball with perfection. For the opposition, that is Real Kashmir. They got both the goals from the set pieces. But the defenders have been good. Remember, both the goals have been assisted by Carlos Lomba, the Portuguese. And once again, now, Kozlov gets another set-piece opportunity. Another set-piece opportunity and another chance to score that first goal. Good chance, but once again, a header set up now on the move here. The man in yellow gives that gentle push towards the left. Now that forward push. Trezor now coming down to defend. And help the defense of his own team. Prizo and has scored a goal. And all he needs to do is just make sure that his team park the bus. And they will get three points. And they'll get a goal advantage of plus two as well. Very important in the scheme of things. Now Kozlov slaps in that ball. That's a good ball forward. But just into the trajectory of the keeper, Mohit, who's had a good game. It's got a few body blows, but it seems like he will be keeping a clean sh sheet. Of course, Eddie Gabriel had made that jump all the way from Honduras, like Urijit mentioned a while back. Now, on now. the move here from the left flank, they're looking pretty solid here. Kamo, but back to the custodian. Was trying a little trick, but that could have been costly. Now, Crizo once again. Now. Looking forward, that's a good ball in. It's a tough angle, but he has to take that shot. Gives that gentle push towards the depth, but again loses the possession. Now. Now on the ball, it's a shot, but the referee's whistle goes. Adnan Ayub trying to speak something with the referee. <laughs> Adnan just caught the legs of Mirjal Al Kasimov over there. What is the kind of strategy you think Mohamedan will apply now? If you are the coach of Mohamedan, 
Arijit, what is the kind of strategy that you're going to tell your team members? Just attack. Nothing else. You have nothing to lose now. Exactly. I mean, make sure that all the defenders on most occasions are right in the defensive circle, defensive setup of the A opposition. A nice through ball there for Kamo on the left. What can Kamo do? Kamo finding options on the box. Kamo looking for options. He has Crizo there. Kamo takes the shot, but well said by the custodian and eventually headed out by Joseph over there. Corner in the favor of Yel Kashmir. It's Bikash Singh Salgosim who is coming on for uh, the Mohammedan Sporting. He is on loan from Kerala Blasters and Kozlov is the one who is going off. Bikash Singh signed from Prau for Kerala Blasters and immediately sent on loan to Mohammedan Sporting. Corner now, set piece again. The set piece pass. Remember, Origi, the first two set pieces, they got goals. First, of course, from Shahid and then from, of course, Crizo. Now, Carlos Lomba. Delivers that ball, but this time a little bit of a fumble. But uh, last touch, of course, was from the real Kashmir player, and this possession shifts. They cannot waste any time. It's just about 15 minutes remaining on the clock. Eddie Hernandez expected David to be there on that occasion, but it was none. Mohit Khan engaging in a word battle with David. Trizo there, but eventually well defended by Irshad on that occasion. On the midfield, it's Adnan Ayub again. Adnan Ayub looking for options. Adnan Ayub to Inam. Inam now, but eventually it is possessed by Joseph over there. Joseph. Now another set piece. Is it going to be a card? I think he just uh, put that card behind. In arm it was. Momitin gives that gentle push behind. Now good passing. It was Bikash, I think. Now, marching forward here. That's good combination play. That's a tiki-taka style of play. Constant passing. Mohamedin are doing well. I think a yellow card will be flashed at the moment. It was flashed a while back to Inam. Eventually a free kick to the Mohamedin sporting team. This is because a handball, a mistaken handball by the number 10 Ashrar over there. Cast him off to take the free kick. Straight away given into the right flank to Ram Sangha. Whose pass didn't find anyone from his own team. Now Kamo onto the deck. Kamo looking to break. It's Carlos Inam. Inam. Plays oh, that's it on a the good right. ball towards the right. Look at the accuracy with which he gave that pass, of course. Now it's Muhammad Asrar. He's turning behind, doesn't want to take two risks, but he'll know that the Mohammedan SC players will come on the prowl, will pounce on him. And Joseph again. It's a foul immediately. Oh boy, oh boy, oh goodness me. You do not want this. You do not want this. Joseph, be careful. You are on a yellow card. You should not do this, Joseph. Joseph, you, you already Jersey. have a booking. You do that and you'll be flashed a red card. You do not want that. You do not want one of your building blocks in the defensive department to go off. Joseph just having a quick chat with the referee, but he has to tone down. Where is the captain? He just opened his socks to show that yes, there is a mark to his injury. They can see a big decision, a big decision, and I think he's going to just consult his assistant referees. 
get a decision for what just panned out oh boy this situation is just going out of hand for the two teams we're just having an absolute exciting and an enthralling encounter at the Noihati Stadium we told you it's going to be a top of the table clash between Real Kashmir Referee. and Mohammedan and this really is living up to the billing and Haider has been given a yellow card another and Joseph also has been given a yellow card and both of them have to leave so both of them are a man down this is unprecedented Dama remember Haider had a yellow card so did Joseph in the first half and both of them have been now flashed a red card first of course it was Haider Yusuf who gets a red card oh I Mistaken think it was by the first referee. yellow card Mistaken by the referee, Haidar has his first yellow card. Okay, and it's his uh, first uh, yellow Ajay card. Having his second yellow card and is being sent off now. Ajay getting the yellow card for the jersey pull of Ajay over there on spot. And Haidar for the tackle. Ajay, this is not expected from a senior guy like you. Be cool, don't rush in the dugout of the opponent. This is unprecedented level of action and drama that is happening at the Noihati Stadium. We've had a red card moment in are a man down. They are a man down over here. Boy, oh boy. Now moment in. Just about 10 minutes remaining in regulation time. I think we can have more than 10 minutes of injury time today. Now in favor of Mohamedan once again. This time it's Kasimov. Kasimov, Kasimov again. again gives the ball of course to Bikas Singh. Bikas Singh gives it behind to Irshad. Irshad back to of course Adinga the captain on the left flank. Adinga. The target was Remsanga there, but intercepted well by Inam. And on the right, it was Ashrar again. Ashrar doesn't give you a vibe of Danish Farooq. It does. It absolutely does give me a vibe of uh, Danish Farooq. The number 10, who has a great jersey to fill on. Danish Farooq, one of the leading players from Kashmir now. A nice one-two over there. But intercepted well by Adinga on that occasion. And Kamu. Again, Inam now. Chriso on the turn. What can Chriso do now? Will, will he cross and will he go for a shot? Tight angle. Crosses the ball but straight to Padam Chetri. The Mohammedan sporting goalkeeper. Padam. To Eddie Hernandez. Eddie. The six foot inches hot striker from Honduras. Passes it to Rem Sanga on the right. Rem Sanga now. Looking for options. Rem Sanga. But well cut out by Wayne Vaz over there. Rem Sangha onto the center. Rem Sangha passes it to Zudika over there onto the right. Zudika crosses the ball in, but eventually deflected and it's out for a corner for Mohammedan Sporting. Wayne Vaz, as you can see from the first of the game, is just sticking to his defensive duties, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, they both of them are uh, fulfilling the defensive abilities extremely well in this time of course it's Angu who gives that cross but straight to the goalkeeper the goalkeeper Mohit is having an absolute stunning time isn't it again the goalkeeper Mohit Khan is likely to be in some pain clash between Remsanga, Adnan and Mohit Mohit cuddling in pain over there He's going to be treated again. Feel for him, it's the second time he's just injured himself. Once again, if you see the replay, there's a good ball in. 
I beg your pardon, we'll see the replay of the two goals, both of them identical goals. Padam Chetri not being able to stop the two goals. First goal, of course, coming from Shaheen and then from Krizo. While Shaheen is from Syrian Arab Republic, Krizo, of course, is from Ivory Coast. Remember, Ivory Coast is hosting the AFCON tournament. Now on your screen, of course, Shaheen it was, and now Krizo. Mohit back on his feet. Offside against Eddie Hernandez, the one from Honduras. Go there, but now Inam on the ball. Inam takes a shot, but we'll see if we Padam Chetri over there. Now Ashrar there, a free kick in the favor of Mohamed Sporting, taken quickly. Just look at the shot from Inam, it was a pinch perfect shot and a nice save from Padam Chetri there. Absolutely, Padam Chetri has had a busy day so far, he's conceded a couple of goals. We've seen already a red card which Joseph was sent off because of his violent push and of course because of his aggressive tackling. And now is it a, a penalty? Push from a Kasimov it was. Is it a penalty now? Seems like it is. I'm not quite sure. All eyes on the referee and his decision. It is a penalty from Criso to take it. And can he score a brace and score the third goal for Real Kashmir in this match? Penalty. The fans, I guess, are revolting there. The fans are revolting. The play is stopped unduly because of the fans over there. Zudika explaining it to the fans. Please stop. Param Chetri leaving the goalposts over there. Oh boy. Oh boy. You do not want to see this. Bottles are being thrown into the ground. They are definitely not happy with the performance of Mohamed and SC. On this occasion, Kasimov, Adinga, all of them asking them, curb down. They definitely do not want a defeat of Mohamed and Sporting. Zudika, the senior player from Sudeva, this is signed last season. Padam Chetra getting a bit agitated. Fan coming. Oh boy, in. there is someone inside the ground. These are definitely not scenes you would want to see. You will face a lot of consequences. I think he's just gone back. How could you just allow him to go back? You are allowed, you have to be reprimanded for that. This is not a good example. You simply cannot come into the ground. This is just unprecedented drama that is happening. Unprecedented action that is happening. Oh boy, oh boy. You do not want to see this. These are unreal scenes. I think the match might as well just get forfeited here. They might as well forfeit the game. On this occasion, oh the boy, you don't want this. You don't want this. The fans are throwing all bottles and all onto the grounds, which is not expected from any team. Fans boy, but Mohamed is right at the top. 
like you were just mentioning Guruji, their fan base has been so loyal. Their fan base has been loyal since I think their I League two days. They've been loyal to the hilt, and now I can understand their frustration towards the decision of the referee. They are not respecting the decision of the referee, but this is not the way. This is definitely not the way of showcasing your support. This is unreal scenes that's happening at the Noihati Stadium. This is not at all expected from any fan base over there. You are loyal. You can't respect the referee. You have to accept because in football, referee is the main judge and jury over there. Absolutely. I mean, I think now, are we going to have the goal? Seems like we will be starting the game after the fans have calmed down a little bit. But, Orijit, I'm really disappointed with the fans of Mohamed Danesi. I thought they are one of the best fan bases in the entire world. This, you can't take these things at all. Because these things interrupt the game. And uh, I just don't. He's just going to have fans. a word with the match commissioner just to see what exactly will happen. The fourth official and the men referee is just having a word with each other. Are they going to cancel the match if they abandon the match? It's going to be a three-zero win to Real Kashmir. To Real no. Kashmir. It's Mohamedan SC's responsibility. And Calcutta has always had a culture of football. I mean, when you are so passionate about something, then there are obvious ways that you might get irked. There are obvious ways that you might get agitated. But this is not at all expected from any fan base. From any fan. Meanwhile... A substitution taking place for Mohammedan Sporting. It's Nellar who is coming in place of jersey number 15. But indeed, that wasn't the substitution, that was the extra time. Oh my god, that was extra time of 15 minutes? Yes, <laughs> that was extra time of 15 minutes because of all the drama and all the action that we saw today. OMG This game which expected to be a tight one but this game is ex is coming out to be tight literally tight Of course, we've got a quick substitution on that occasion. Lu Wang is off. And we have Juan Carlos all the way from Argentina who will get a little bit of game time. We've got 15 minutes of added time and 15 minutes chance for them to score. Juan Nellar. They would still believe in themselves. They would still believe in themselves that they can score a goal. All they need is a couple of goals. There you can see. Mohamed Nessi players asking the fans to calm I down. I think the most dejected player in the Mohamed Nessi squad is Padam Chetri now. What do you tell, Shantar? Absolutely. I mean, uh, for someone like him, uh, who exactly is right next to the cage, what if he gets hurt again? What if someone throws something at him? Anything is possible. Once again, if you see... With they are absolutely dissatisfied with that. This that off. was a clear penalty. I mean, it's borderline. I feel it was borderline penalty. But of course, now we have Padam Yes, Chetri. it's a 50-50 chance. And in every 50-50 chance, you see the striker getting the advantage over there. Absolutely. So now, Krizo up against Padam Chetri over there. Yeah. 
Shiso trying to be cool and composed. Shiso now. To take the penalty. Will he make it 3-0 for Real Kashmir? Seems like it. Krizo is in form. He scored the other goal right now. You can see all these objects being thrown into the ground and you definitely do not want to see this. You definitely do not want to see something like this. And I really hope Padam Chetri stops it. And if Padam Chetri stops this, then the crowd will just go berserk. They'll also go berserk if it is a goal. They'll also go berserk if it is not Safe. a goal. Now, Krizo up against Padam Chetri. And they score the goal. 3-0. They have completed a hat-trick of goals here, the away team. Krizo scoring a brace in this 3-0 victory over the table toppers. Not a victory yet, I would say. Anything is possible. You've still got around 10 minutes of added time. So anything is possible in football. You cannot count anyone out till the last minute is over. Yes, Shanti, you're perfectly right. It's again now. Irshad there. On the right, it's Nellar. What can Nellar do? Mohamed in Sporting are one man down. David on the turn. David looking for options. Hernandez. But well cut out by Real Kashmir players. Now Krizo on the attack. A nice through ball from Kamo. Krizo against Zudika. What can Krizo do? Krizo. A nice dribble. Over there it's shot. But it's way wide and upward from Ashrar there. Ashrar. Looking to be in pain again. Went for that pile driver, but of course it was off target. And Padam Chetri didn't have to break a sweat and he's going to be stretched off. I really hope the real Kashmir players go back to the team hotel safely. Ashrar now looking to be in much pain and to be stretched off the field Ashrar just looking to have a niggle a slight niggle over there goal kick now in the favour of Marbid and Sporting Param Chetri to take the goal kick Padam Chetri ready to take the goal kick. Instructing his teammates to move more forward. Padam Chetri. Carlos being showed a yellow card over there. An immediate substitution. It's Henry Kiseka against to be substitute to be playing in place of the number 20 the number 10 Inam sorry it's Ashrar it was now of course just number 5 on your screen at the moment sorry it was Carlos Lomba and Henrik Kiseko substitution now Mohamedin time for a few options on this occasion Juan Carlos slaps the ball forward inside the penalty box and the goalkeeper comes and collects the ball Mohit has had a very very good game I think he's going to remember this clean sheet for a very very long time this clean sheet might as well mean that it is a blockbuster day for him remember for Mohamed and SC this loss wouldn't really hurt them but would just reduce the gap they have. I mean, there was, a gulf, a nice there was a gulf at the top of the points table, but now that might as well just dissipate. They might as well just dissipate the lead in the next couple of games if they do not get their bearings right. 
Mohit Khan has an excellent outing over there between the sticks today. Mohit Khan is just the one to watch out for. Padam Chetri looking a bit agitated and he's looking to take the shot, the goal kick, sorry, the free kick over there. Confusions between the fourth official, assistant referee, and the main referee, Aditya Puragayasta, Lakshay, and Kuldeep Singh over there. Boy, this is just unprecedented drama that is happening. Unprecedented drama. This is one of the most riveting clashes that I've seen. Wouldn't really say it's one sided because Mohammedan did get their chances to score a few goals. But ultimately, it was. Oh, there's a yellow card over here. A yellow card that has been given to Henry Kiseka, who is a former Mohammedan player as well, up against his former club. He would know this ground really well. Henry Kiseka, very popular to the Indian football and popularly Kolkata football circuit. He has played for Mohan Bagan and Mohammedan Sporting in past. Now from the right From flank. the right, it's Juan Nellar. Back to Zidika. Adinga on the left. Adinga. Back to Juan Nellar over there. Adinga now looking for options on the left. It's Bikash Singh Salgosan. Bikash Singh. Adinga takes the throw in Nellar now. It's number 19, David. David on the ball. What can David do? Bikas Singh. Gives a cross but well defended by Shahir Shanin over there. Shahir Shanin having an excellent outing. Meanwhile, a substitution taking place for Real Kashmir. It's Ashrar who is going off and Mir which is coming in. He found Tariq Mir. The midfielder from Kashmir. Corner. A variation. Will a cross come in now? Cross comes in, but straight into the hands of Muhit Khan over there. Muhit Khan having an excellent outing. We have reached 10 minute mark of the added 15 minutes in this game. And uh, Adinga there. This time, Mamadin on the move. Now I think it's a lost cause. I mean, scoring three goals to draw the game in the next five minutes seems like an arduous task. Seems like an improbable task, but you never know football. Anything can happen. But if they have to do so, they have to do so now. That's a brilliant header by Muhammad Hamad. The ball goes up. Quick work by Bikas Singh. And brings down by Adnan. Adnan. Are you down there? By Adnan, of course. And now Kasimov again. In the position, a free kick in the dangerous position over there. We have seen many goals from this position. We have seen Clayton Silva of East Bengal scoring from this position. We have always against in the Mipetchar of Samoan who can ace the set pieces so well. Kasimov as well. Yes, I think Mohan Bagan will be missing. Sorry, sorry, it's Marvin and Sporting who will be missing. Alexis Nahuel Gomez in this position as he was the set piece taker in this team. Kasimov. All eyes on Kasimov. And brilliant work by the keeper. Mohit once again dives towards his left, stretches out his arms. And he's having an absolute stunner of a day. But that's another penalty corner. Another set piece. A couple of touches. There you can see good work now on the counter attack. He's brought down. Jersey number 90 now. Couldn't really keep control on that occasion. Tariq Mir. Gives that gentle push, of course, to Adinga. Now, good now work. Hernandez there. Kasimov. 
Just about a couple of minutes left in the game. Where is this heading? David, cross him off now. But Good on the corner over there. Of uh, Henry Kiseka. The ball once again goes back. Now a chance. All he needed to do was give in the trajectory of Bikar Singh, but he couldn't do so. Now from the left, they're looking solid here. David just hits the side net. And another chance gone, begging. Once again, if you see Bikar Singh, it was brilliant touch. It was a tough angle, but eventually when he launched that attack, it hit the side net roughly about a minute left store line of the game 3-0 imagine if Kashmir come to the ISL it's going to be a big moment in Indian football big Kash moment in Indian football Kashmir have always been for, for a formidable side real Kashmir has always been and I think this victory is a really good one and in memory of their owner as well who passed away recently Sandeep Chato, remember he had died age 57, so I think it's going to be a good game in memory of their owner as well. So they're doing it for him. Ramsanga passes it to Irshad, who finally clears the ball away. A throw in the favor of Real Kashmir FC over there. Now a quick throw in. Yes, a quick throw in. A couple of touches. Gives it behind. Jensen Hernandez. Push. Momentum once again on the move. But brilliant work. Absolutely brilliant work by Haider Yusuf on that occasion. A couple of touches marching forward here. Kamo it is on the left now. This time, of course. Couldn't really do enough on that occasion. Chris O. We're well past the injury time as well. Now, Haider Yusuf. Slaps the ball forward, but will fall straight into Chetri's hands. He's had a forgettable day. He's conceded three goals. He's had a very, very forgettable day. And of course, the fans would not be expecting such an abject surrender in front of real Kashmir. I mean, I can say Mohammedan have simply surrendered in front of real Kashmir here. We really expected them to perform well. I mean, the, the table toppers, of course. But I think it speaks more than the scoreline. You have to give credit to the defensive department of Real Kashmir. They've done exceptionally well. Especially the goalkeeper, Mohit Shabir Khan, 100%. who has had an exceptional outing today. Now, on the break, it's Krizo again. Krizo, onside, Krizo. Krizo, but well defended there by Zudika on the location. Padam Chetri clears the ball away. David looking for the ball, but Hamad there. Real Kashmir, they would be extremely happy. They would be extremely happy with this amazing performance of theirs. They've been stupendous from the word go. And this is essentially the reason why they are right on the money. A couple of goals from Kriso and then of course Shaheen scoring the first goal. Two of those, in fact, three of those goals have come from set pieces. So that is why they say that set pieces are so important in football. Set pieces are a brilliant way to score the goal. Now marching forward, looking for that fourth goal. Remember, Mohamedin are a man down. They are a defender down. Now spreading out the defensive troops. Now from the left, he tried for that cross. But what essentially Real Kashmir is doing is spreading out the defensive troops of Mohamedin. Getting a little bit of extra space. And then trying to give that cross. 
not using the traditional method of breaking the back of the center backs. They found now to take the corner. Found mid. Another set piece. This time, of course, it Carlos. Carlos Lomba not taking it. Carlos Lomba it's not the taking the set piece. Who is taking the set piece over there? Okay, give me a prediction, Urizit. What do you think will happen? Let's see. Very close. He just this pokes it past the goalkeeper. Close. Very, very close. Once again, this time it's Padam Chetri. Can. Padam Chetri has had a forgettable day. Now Eddie Hernandez now on the ball. David from the left. David just fumbling himself. But free kick given on the other hand. On the occasion of Real Kashmir. Hamad to take the free kick. Hamad. And the whistle goes for the final time. It's full time at the Nehadi Banki Manjali Stadium. It's Morbid and Sporting nil and Real Kashmir FC 3. Shahir Shanin scoring one and Kriso scoring a brace for the Snow Leopards. Boy oh boy, what a game we witnessed. This game will be remembered for a very very long time probably one of the most enticing games of the ongoing i league 2023-24 two sides battling out for supremacy two sides battling it out for glory and top honors in the middle there was a little bit of a hiccup that happened in between there was a little bit of a stoppage because the fans became a little bit unpredictable. It was unruly behavior from them. But this is Shayan Toshengupto along with commentator Urijit Pal. Stay tuned for the stats. It's been 3-0 in favor of Real Kashmir. Remember ball possession being dominated by 54. That is why they say ball possession does not matter. What matters is the shots. There you can see the shots on target. 5. The fouls of course. 12 fouls as opposed to the 13 of Mohamedan. And that red card, of course, was uh, by Joseph. Now, Joseph will be missing the next game of Mohammedan. But Real Kashmir is a good trip down towards the eastern part of India. Of course, if you take a look at the shots, it was uh, David Marr and, of course, Samuel and Kozlov have taken a few shots. But none of those shots materializing into a goal. We'll quickly take a look at the shots of uh, Real Kashmir been dominated of course by Kriso but remember three of their goals came uh, through set pieces two goals from Kriso of course and one goal came uh, from uh, Shaheen there you can see Kriso topping the charts with those four shots and of course the likes of Shaheen the likes of Carlos Lam Lomba have also found their names on the sheet where there are shots. The Noihati Stadium was treated to an absolute pulsating game and so were we at the commentary box in Noihati Stadium. I love coming to the Noihati Stadium. We're reporting live from the Noihati Stadium of course. And of course the fouls, a total of 13 fouls. Uh, David Mar uh, topping the charts for Mohamedan alongside Rem Sangha, Anglo, uh, RJ that is uh, uh, you know Joseph who was eventually sent off. He had a couple of fouls and Kasimov and Irshad to have been in the books. If you take a look at Real Kashmir's foul, but if you can witness over there, Origi, they're having a team huddle, very important after the game. We just discuss how the strategies went, but of course, Kriso once again dominating the shots as well, dominating the shots on target as well, and dominating the fouls as well. So, insane amount. I think he's had a very, very busy day. He needs a very good sleep today, Kriso. And so does the two commentators who need a very good sleep today because we've had a very, very long and tiring day. But uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Stay tuned for the highlights, which will uh, be uh, given by Orijit, of course. Now we'll have the highlights of the full match. But this is the players who are coming off on the field. Customary handshakes over there with the referees and these opponents. The toss being taken by the Tipura and one minute of silence for the demise of Sandeep Chattu. The first shot deflected by Joseph over there. Frizo being followed by Adinga over there. Muhammad being a Joseph Bull for David. And 
investigation. Now a shot that Padam Chetri onto the occasion of the day. Being none of this maybe ended the first half. Coming to the second half, David had started the second half. Mohit Khan being injured in the process. This is the clash between Shahi Shani and him. Took shot from Trizo. Just missed the bar. This is the first goal from Shahir Shani. Adinga trying to clear it but eventually heading it back into his own goal post. Shahir Shani, the one, the second one from Trizo, deflected from Joseph, going into the nets. And having the third one, the goal. This is a Mohit Shabir's catch, perfect catch. This is the moment where Joseph was sent off and a yellow card was shown to Haider for his challenge. The corner, all the corners, nothing came to the work as everything was collected by Mohit Shabir. Here, the penalty we can see, Paul, and along with my fellow mid-commentator, Shankar Gupto, signing off. Thank you.